Hi, my name is Rodi Pinuko. I'm Microsoft SharePoint Server MVP in Singapore. You can visit my blogs in http blogslipinuko.com for more details of the technique in this video cast, or browse for some updates on tips and tricks, and the latest information on SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint 2007. For example, we are going to make a book collection report for school library. The book collection records is a custom list in SharePoint. However, the new book entry form will contain only title, author, and attachment. The edit form will contain additional fields, status of the book. Let's start by creating a book list using custom list template. We'll select a custom list and then type book list. Then click create. Then we will create a new column. Type an author, it's a single line of text. Then click OK. We have a new columns. Then we click another column, status. Type is choice. And we type the choice here will be available in use and missing. Then we click OK again. So now we have our book list ready for testing. We start to create a new book list entry with a standard SharePoint form with a sample default form. Then I will type author in the author field. Look, the status field drop down is shown in the form. However, we don't want to show it in a new form. So here what I'm going to do, I will open my InfoCard Designer, create a new forms and publish to SharePoint to replace the standard form. Here's my InfoCard Designer. I'll wait a second to open the applications. And here we go. The InfoPath Designer 2010 provides new templates such as uh, SharePoint list, SharePoint form library, database, etc. For our purpose, we are going to use SharePoint list template. Click on SharePoint list template and click on design form. With the second and now a new data connection wizard is coming. We can type our SharePoint site URL. In this case, I will type uh, HTTP SPS 2010 and click Next. Oops. I have to type my credential because uh, my laptop is not of the same domain. So I'll try to connect it with the uh, credential. Okay, here we go. Next, we'll select the book list from the available SharePoint list. Click Next. And we done configuring. InfoPath will automatically create the list form in the design canvas, and we can compare uh, the form with the SharePoint default form. Okay, we'll open the SharePoint default form. Okay. The look and feel is the same. 
I'm not going to explain all the interface of the InfoPath designer here. And I will add a new view in our InfoPath so we have two views. One for the creations and the other for edit. I give name the edit form info path. Okay. You can switch back to the first form and copy the fields. So in this case, it will be easier for me. And we can start the sign of form. Uh, remember that you can design with your own way, but I rather than to use it quickly here and put the title as a minus book, go back and uh, put this title as new entry. The most important is I will remove the status field from the create form and to do that I will just delete the status from the row. So in the new entry book I will remove the status from the row. Bit. Okay. So there's no more status and I think I have to rename the field so it will be easier to identify the other new items. So we have new items and edit form. In the edit form we will make title field read only. You can change the property of other field as well. Okay, I think we have finished our designs and it's time to publish to SharePoint. Just verify that we are publishing to the correct locations. So this is as as 2010 and click OK. Give it four seconds. And here we go. We have a confirmation that the uh, form has been successfully published. Let's try to create a new item. SharePoint will automatically load the new forms that we have just published. And look, the status field has been removed from the creation form. So I'll type the title sample new info path. I can attach files to my items too. Yeah. Just the same function as the original shape. Then you can click uh, save. Now I'll try to edit and we select the for first item. And oops. It shows the new book entry. Remember that previously we have two views, so by selecting the view we can change it to the edit form. So now we have to make it open the right form for us. Click on the list settings and we can expand from the web from the form web part. Sorry. Yes and select the item edit form. In SharePoint, we'll show the default view for our info path. So we have to modify it. And we can modify from web path property. And we can select the view will be edit form info path. This is the correct edit form for us. So we can select OK. And let's try again. Thank you everyone. You can visit my blogs in httpblog.libunivore.com for more detail of the technique in this video guest.